game number one. I was very pleased with the energy and the effort of our football team and the preparation of our coaching staff. We treated it just like it was a game. Obviously, we started in Tiger Stadium. All those guys were excited. They're individual. We did team run. It was dominated by the defense. It started raining. Uh, we had a uh, third down three to six period, third down seven plus period. Kind of went both ways. Got a little sloppy out there. So we brought it back in here. We continued the scrimmage. Our guys didn't blink. A couple of stats from the scrimmage today. Justin McMillan was 8 of 13 for 83 yards, longest 30. Miles Brennan was 5 of 10 for 94 yards, longest 36. Lowell Norseas was 6 of 14 for 122 yards, one touchdown, and longest throw of 40 yards. And Joe Burrow was 7 of 13 for 118 yards, longest of 37. Chris Curry, Nick Brossett, and Clyde got most carries. Uh, Chris was 16 for 43. Yards. Nick was 10 for 36. Clyde was 9 for 17. Uh, Jamar Chase, a freshman, uh, looked good out there a lot of times. Had three receptions for 52 yards. Derek Dillon had three receptions for 41. Justin had three receptions for 42. Jonathan Giles, two for 58. Uh, Nick Rosette had the one couple out of the backfield. Terrence Marshall, a freshman, had a long one. Drake Davis also had a long one. But they was mostly dominated by the defense. I thought Devin White looked fantastic as we would expect him to out there. Kelly Brown Chesson had seven tackles, one tackle for a loss, two sacks, two quarterback hurries, and one pass breakup. It was very active out there. Devin White was six tackles, two tackles for a loss, one sack, two quarterback hurries. Ray Thornton was there, John Battle, Jacob Phillips, Devon Clark had five and a half tackles a freshman. Neil Farrell showed up. Michael Divinity showed up, had two sacks. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good day for the defense. A kicking Cole Tracy was 3-3. Three three. Uh, he was 1-1 from uh, 20 to 30, 1-1 from 40, 45, and 45 plus. He was 1-1. One one. Okay, let me go over the defense a little bit and uh, start the cornerback, cornerback position. Terrence Alexander had a good day today. He played, he started out there today. He played and, and also Calvin Joseph played a bunch. I thought those guys had a good day, along with uh, Kerry and along with uh, John Trey Kirkland. Those guys had a good day. Really did practice, neither did many. Uh, at safety, we had basically Grant Dalvin, John Battle, and Jacoby Stevens is coming along. We're using him in a lot of situations. This guy had a great summer, doing a lot of good things, and also Todd Harris. I thought the front seven was dominant, dominant today, like I expected them to be. They did a good job. I thought we rotated those guys and played very well. On offense, we had way too many mistakes, way too many penalties, uh, way too many offsides. Uh, we had a couple series. We had two or three penalties back to back. Uh, Sometimes when we executed, we made some good plays, but we shot ourselves in the boat with too many penalties. All right. Uh, questions? Everybody healthy? Yeah, we made, made it out pretty healthy. Not bad. You mentioned Greedy last week was held out for something minor, and you're more precautionary. What? How, how He's just still not ready. Still not ready. Yeah. You mentioned sloppy play. You think that was a part of the quarterbacks, the, a lot of different guys? And where did you see it from? Well, I think it's a lot of jumping off sides, you know, not, not being in sync. Really, it was a lot of off sides, holding, just uh, penalties that we need to eliminate. First preseason game, guys are fired up, guys don't want to. Make the depth chart, trying to do too much. We've got to settle down. Which quarterbacks went with which, with which units? Uh, you know, they rotated a bunch today. We had a lot of lot of uh, different scenarios. Uh, I think Lowell started a team run. I think each one started each different period. I think they all played with the ones, all played with the two. So it was, a, it was a rotation. It wasn't like you could say one guy went with the ones, one with others. I think the team did a great job of rotating them all the way through. Did you ever do a scrimmage today with threes, or you just stayed ones and twos? Say it again. Did you just stay scrimmage with ones and twos? Oh, we went threes, we went three of those. Went one, ones and twos, went most of the snaps, then threes went. But the, all our quarterbacks rotated with everything. How, when would you like to refine the quarterback rotation? You know, we, we got to see. You know, we got to see. Uh, I want to give them all a chance, obviously. I got to talk to Steve. We got to see uh, after preseason game one where, where our guys stack up, uh, what guys need more reps in more, more situations. It's a process. We still have two pre big preseason games left. We'll let them all go. 
with the offensive line look like today? Uh, not good. Not good. We didn't play very well today. We made too many mistakes, you know, too many sacks. We had too many penalties. How's the battle at uh, center shaping up right now? Uh, you know, it's mostly going to be Lloyd right now. Mostly going to be Lloyd. Uh, Colton is a young kid that's going to play. He's not ready. If, if, if Lloyd wouldn't play, we put in Bruce. There's no question about it. Did Garrett take many reps in center? Excuse me? Did Garrett Brumfield take No, he didn't take any reps today, but we need to give him some live reps. That's a preseason game. Were the quarterbacks live at all? Or just took no, they weren't live. Uh, Steve didn't want them live. They weren't live running. But we all gonna, we never going to bring them to the ground in, uh, in scrimmage type situations. We will have thought of them later on. Did Traore, I know, miss practice the other day? Was he out there today? He was out there today. I was proud of him. He went out there and he took every snap he was supposed to. How difficult was meeting with Christian Fulton the other night after that came out? Um, what was what was that meeting like for you? Um, everybody was disappointed. Obviously, we thought the outcome was going to come the other way, and the uh, whole team was disappointed. The whole coaching staff was disappointed. So you know, we can't blame. I mean, that's the circumstance. We got to deal with it, and I got to give it to Christian and his family. They have been. Fighters, they've been positive. They're not going to give up. I don't blame them. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, work Christian in. Obviously, not as a, somebody who's going to play this year. But I'll tell you this when he gets his chance, he is going to be one heck of a player for the LSU Tigers. Did you reach out to Darius at all after hearing the news? Yeah, I did, but I need to. I did, and I will. And I heard he's down, and I feel bad for him. How have you guys, as a coaching staff, uh, approached the team with Tyler Taylor? You know, that's a legal matter, and we're not going to come in on it. Don't you have any idea who your top four wide receivers are? Or kind of? You know, I, I need to see. You know, uh, today, I can tell you who started uh, today would be uh, obviously Jamar Chase started, Jonathan Giles, and Jefferson started. If we were the three wide set, those guys started today for the first group. And obviously, I'll let Jerry handle that. He's the pro. And I'm going to see what's going to happen. Terrence Marshall had a nice ball today. He's coming along. And we're moving Stephon Sullivan around, trying to give him some more snaps, uh, play him at a tight end position, see if he can do it. And we'll see how it works. Did they scrimmage that all there today? Excuse me? It's Stephon. Uh, yeah, he got a couple snaps today. I need to look at the film. I, I don't remember exactly when he got it and how many he got, but I can let you know that money. Did Damone go at both inside linebacker spots today? So he, he looked good. Right yes, he did. He worked at both of them? Yes, he did. He had five and a half tackles. Uh, he came downhill. He's known as a sign. He's a very smart player. And he's big and he's touchable. Did Patrick Queen? He, he's no, Patrick did not practice. What about Eric Monroe? Eric Monroe did not practice. He had a lot of stuff on the peripheral this week from Tyler to Christian. How, how, did, how did you handle that? How, how did you put it in the compartment? No. But Brock Allen knows. Uh, there's, there's, during the season, stuff's going to happen. It's college football. We talk about blocking up the noise. We talk about protecting the team. We say some things internally with the football team, we'll address matters that we have to address, uh, things we should do, things we shouldn't do, and we keep that within the team, we move forward. Do you feel like you're any closer to making that decision when it comes to quarterback right now? Say it again? Do you feel like you're any closer after today making a to making a decision? Yeah, you know, we, we're not pushing that. We're not pushing that. We, we're going to let the process happen throughout camp. Uh, we haven't gone through a lot of situations yet, so I uh, still are. Are you seeing it? Any one of them in particular step up, taking commanding that leadership on the field? Yeah, you know, at, at different times. At different times, I see them do different things. And I'm, uh, I'm not going to take that. Did Cole, uh, <laughs> Cole kick in Tiger Stadium? Or did he say again? Cole, did he kick in Tiger Stadium? Uh, all his kicks were here. Uh, the scrimmage, the uh, actual scrimmage work, uh, any type of situation started in here. The only time we was, it was tackling, but we did team run and we did third downs in Tiger Stadium, but he kicked in here and he was good. Out of the four quarterbacks, who, who looks the most comfortable at the line of scrimmage and, and when it comes down to like decision yeah. making? You know, uh, Joe's experience, obviously. Yeah, he, he's experienced out there. I thought Noel really did some good things today. And, you know, I'm going to tell you that every day. I mean, I look at the positive those guys do. I like all those guys. It's going to be a close call. What did you see at right tackle? What's that? What did you see at right tackle? You know, you I saw some struggles there. today. Uh, we need to get going. And uh, I like those guys. I like McGee. I like Austin. We're going to step up. And I'm sure we'll see the film. We'll see some good things that they've done. But there was way too much penetration. There was way too many. 
mistakes. I was not pleased at all with offensive line play. Uh, how'd Pahoka look at nose tackle for first Pretty good. Pretty good. He's the leader. Uh, really good. Had some penetration, had some good plays. Uh, nothing outstanding. I thought the whole defensive line today got pushed the whole day. Uh, they don't look like they get tired at all. They're ready to go fired up. They did a great job getting on defense ready today. Is it more the defensive line or the offensive line making mistakes? I use a combination. This is a good defensive line. But we're going to go against a good defensive line and sometimes a better defensive line every Saturday. So we need to be ready. Did the offense turn the ball over fumbles, interceptions today? Uh, we didn't have many turnovers. Uh, we had a lot of penalties. Which, which defensive players were giving the right tackles the most trouble? Excuse me? Which defensive players gave the right tackles the most trouble? You know, uh, Michael Devendry is having a really, really good camp. You know, we got a rush wide. They, they're struggling a little bit with the wide rush. Uh, Travis Moore is rushing pretty good. Neil Farrell and uh, Rashard Morris are playing that end position. They're doing really well. Coach, you mentioned block out the noise pretty often. Is that kind of like a slogan or something that this team's kind of embracing a little bit? I hear the players say it too. We block out the noise, we have to. I mean, there's a, you know, this world, there's a Twitter, there's news every second, there's things happening. Uh, I choose not to read it. I choose to read some positive every morning, come to work. Uh, Derek lets me know what the pulse is out there. And uh, sometimes he tells me stuff I don't want to hear. But we got to deal with it. Stuff happens, life happens, but you know, we got to focus in on the task at hand, control what we control every day. How do you um, manage the team with, you know, you can't have all these guys not looking at social media and things like that. So how do you kind of manage them when it comes to the, that outside of it? Yo, know, here's what the, I can't tell them not to look at social media because that'd be something I can't control. But I do tell them, look at it, digest it. If you want to get information, but put it down. You want to get information from it, do it. But to read them, you know, uh, social media, when, when you win, it can make you too high. When you lose, it can make you too low. And, you know, you can't believe in it. We've got to play the football game on the field. So when we get in, I try to get them focused in or a task at hand and put all that stuff aside. As far as what, what do you read positive every morning? What do you try to read? You know, I, I, I've got, this is the Joe Goldstein 128, Cyrus XM. <laughs> and uh, read that. i got a couple of positive readings in the book. I do that at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to work. As far as installation goes, percentage-wise, offense, defense, where do you feel you're you know, Yeah, here's we had four days, four days of uh, strictly first down. And we still have some more stuff to put in. We got most of our first down stuff in. We got a couple more runs to put in. I think the defense is really uh, putting a lot more stuff than we had this time last year. And then we have red zone in, and we have some third down in. Uh, next week we'll go into goal line, short yardage, and other situations. Next, week. next week's will be a heavy installation week. The running back situation, you're, those three guys, you're pretty comfortable just running with rotation. Tell you what, Nick ran the ball hard today now. Nick lowered his pads and ran the ball hard. He ran with the most authority today. And, uh, you know, Clyde did some good things, and, and, and we gave Chris Curry some reps. Was this the best you have seen Nick run in a while? Yeah. I would say he had a good scrimmage. And uh, I've always seen him run well. So uh, I think that his turn, his turn is up. Now I think he's going to have a good year. Are you going to pick one, one guy who's standing out from spring to the scrimmage today? Who would that be? Yeah. I think Neil Farrell. Neil Farrell's coming along. What specifically? What's that? What specifically? About making him? plays. He's in shape, making plays, knows his defense. Uh, last year, he's a freshman. I would jump out his gap a little bit to make the play. Now he's more disciplined with technique. You, you mentioned this week's installing short yardage. It seems like past offenses might have been a run situation. With this new one, is there more passing possibility in this kind of thing? And, and what then? Uh, short yardage, is there more passing in these kind of opportunities with this new offense? Yeah. You know, we're gonna, we haven't put in short yardage yet. So uh, uh, there's a certain amount of distance where we're going to run the ball and a certain amount of distance where we're going to pass it. Uh, you may see empty set. You may see that, you may not. How are you feeling about one depth inside linebacker with so many guys out there? What's that, buddy? The depth inside linebacker? Yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a problem right now. It's a problem, but Dave's done a good job. And let me, let me say to you, there's a couple of guys that stepped up here. I want to make sure I mention their names. Cody Hall, uh, walk on from Texas. Great young man. His dad's the coach. He stepped in, he knows where to go. Great young man. He has stepped up.
I guess. Thank you. Have a good day.